I always, that's my like going live dance. So I've gone live and I'm doing a dance. Really, it's my, I'm gonna unbox something dance. So just so you know, I got stuff to, oh, ooh, this feels heavy. Ooh, my mail calls a little heavy this week. Oh my goodness. So let me jump into the live stream here so I can join the chat, see what's going on. I, there is a lot of people live tonight. A lot of people, a lot of shows. So I totally understand if you're catching this on the rewind because there's just so many people. But whoa, I already got six people that jumped in. Jeffrey Comic Con, Discovery Bay, Mo, Perry Comics, Hans Yolo, uh, Ryan Hodge, Mo, I already said Mo. Perry Comics, I already said Perry Comics. Hello, everybody. I got my last Comic Tom mail call. And it does feel heavy. Maybe a big hardcover trade. And an AOK -okay from White Whale Comics. Just for me, not for the girls. So I was going to unbox these things. So uh, I'm sorry that if, if I'm jumping on top of people, I saw that uh, uh, Comic Head 84 is doing a live stream with a couple of buddies. I jumped in there for a little while. I was on Bueller's and th his thing for a little while. Uh, Economics and Comics just dropped an announcement. Um, so a lot of my friends are jumping on, and I'm sorry if I'm interrupting anybody. I'm going to try to be quick, and hopefully uh, Alec can jump in when I get to his a okay here at the end. So I'm going to start with the Comic Tom mail call. Um, why am I stopping my subscription? I was grandfathered in. I had the cheapest price. It was it's a it's a really good deal, and I'll include the link later on when I update my uh, the information for this video. But I've been trying to save up for some big grails, and saving up is just uh, it's hard to do. You got to make cuts, and so I had promised originally when I first started the mail call that I would go at least through January. And I totally did that. I, I, I set aside a little, little money and said, okay, I'm going to try this out for the, the five months, September to January. Um, and I've been really pleased with it. I got some great books. I read some great things. They're always in amazing shape. Um, and, and, and just books that I'm really, really happy to have added to my collection. And I did the mail call because I wanted to get exposed to books that I wasn't normally going to be picking up. And I knew they would be in great condition and they would be, in a sense, vetted by people I really love and trust, like Ryan, Tom, and Russ. Um, Comic Geek McD, good to see you. You're up late, man. Good to see you. Aaron, hi, Aaron. How you doing? Uh, she is a member of the Geek Street 101 crew, really the brains, I would say, of the Geek Street 101 crew. Bake the Snake is in here. So this is my last, sadly, last mail call, but uh, I've just been really grateful for them all along. And uh, at some point, I might go back in and, and and have to pay a higher price because I lost my grandfathered element when uh, when I logged out. But it was totally worth it. And if you're thinking about trying it, I've been very pleased. I love graphic novels. You get you get trades of at least twenty dollars. Um, so I've just always been really pleased with what I got from the mail call crew. Um, they also take really good care of the books. You get great books, and of course, you get shots at some crazy grails. They're giving away a Hulk 181 for February. So some crazy, crazy books. And I got an Iron Fist number one. I legitimately got an Iron Fist number one. Um, I got some real early Ghost Riders uh, that are in great shape. Uh, I got some signed books. So I've gotten some great stuff. I cannot complain about what I got at all. Let's see here. This is not cut all the way. There we go. All right. Always well packaged, and I have reused every one of these mail call boxes when I've been giving, doing giveaways and sending things to friends. So I've gotten lots of people uh, able to give them their books and take really good care of them because of this stuff. This is a giant trade. Oh my gosh, my girls are going to freak for this. I almost want to go get them. They're in there eating dinner and cleaning up after themselves like good girls. Sorry if this is a little bit crinkly loud. They shrink wrap everything to keep it extra safe. Oh, my girls are gonna freak for this. Hey, girls, come take a look at this. All right, you can see it first. Also, right? I wanted to say something to the boys. It's the official handbook of the Marvel Universe A to Z. Oh, and is Ryan here? Uh, I don't know if Ryan's in the chat. Jeffrey's in the chat. Aaron was in the chat. Who is the person who said? Cats rule, dogs drool. Who was the person who said that? Oh my Dave gosh. Lion, six, four, three. Okay, if they were here, if they're in this chat, 
this is for them. Instead, because I know it was a boy, so this is for whoever said it. Boys drool, girls rule, and babies go to high school. What? And babies go to high school is not true, but the other boys drool and girls rule is true. All right, you. Yeah. All right, Mommy you girls. agrees. Isn't that cool, though? What a cool and it's hardcover trade. Oh, okay. It's going to be a complete breakdown. Looks like uh, A to Z, volume five. Oh, there's so it's, it's, it? this is going to be G through J. You got Hobgoblin, Justin Hammer, Hell Boy, no, Hellcat, sorry. Is this an encyclopedia? Infinity Gauntlet, Hellcat. Infinity Watch. Pepper Hogan? The Happy Hogan and Pepper Hogan, yeah. Hulk, of course, is in this one. And the Hulk Ling and the Hulk Goodbye. Busters. Who's this from? In Iron Fist, who I was just talking about. That's cool. Hello. Sorry, Daddy, can that's I a nice cover. Can I go read it? Sorry, she's coming for you. Oh, no, she didn't. Yeah, you watch out. My daughter agrees. Jason P, your internet kicked me off. Sorry, Jason P. Don't worry. It'll get sorted out. Internet is always frustrating. Three snaps in an A to Z. All right. That's it? pretty cool. So it's got to be H's. You got Human Torch. You got Ice Human Torch, Iceman. Can I read it? Yes. So they are borrowing that. That is a cool hardcover and legit big hardcover, like heavy. Sorry about the crinkling paper again. It's sealed here. You want me to? Yes. Exacto it. Take general care of it. Oh, and for people who are watching, that oh, goodness. is not the correct way. To You're going to get sassiness again? Well, that's not how you do it. Oh, my God. There. Better? Who cut the book? Welcome to my life. I heard that. <laughs> All right. Got the bag. Everything's taken care of. He's got a little uh, backing board in there. I, sh I say he. The truth is, I know Tom boxes a bunch of these, but Aaron's in the chat. She boxes a bunch of these. Ryan Brock boxes a bunch of these. So it's a team. It is a really team effort. I'm trying to flip over books so I don't see what's in here. I'm looking up. I'm looking up. Okay, so I've got everything flipped over. I don't know what's in here. As always, there's a piece of original art, uh, like a a, uh, a print that was sent in and part of their competition. They chose a really cool one. Uh, it's called Batman Dinner Time by Richard L. Jones. Uh, that's a cool That's a cool picture. They've all been really, really nice. This one uh, is at RLJ3Visions on Instagram. I can, if I can get a little bit closer, but I'm, yeah, you're never going to see it. So it's not worth doing it. Um, the instructions for the mail call always on the back so you can post it and have your chance to get a free box because he has an extra box he gives out. Prime time is here. So if that's economics and comics, he just dropped his big announcement for tomorrow's epic live stream. So many cool people guesting, getting interviewed, giveaways. He's back. Bill is back. So I am on that at 9 o'clock. Prime time. I better bring my A game for sure. Okay, so here's let's see what we got. Oh, Captain America and the Falcon. I just snagged one of these recently. That's nice. This is issue 162. Look at that yellow cover. I have to eat. Oh, you're going to eat? Okay, so you can put it right on top there gently. There you go. Captain America and the Falcon. Cap goes mad. Crazy. Yeah, I do love the Captain America and the Falcon run. That's a good run. And I do have a few of those. Ooh, Batman Hunt the to Hunt the Beast. I have the Matina cover for this. This is a phenomenal issue. Absolutely great issue. This is the Tony Daniel cover. If I'm not mistaken, this is the one when they have it's just a fight. The whole issue from front to back is just one long badass fight. I'm just going to double check. Yeah, this is the one I'm talking about. There's like a fairy tale being told, like a bedtime story. But while it's being told, you have this KG beast versus Batman in a snowy cabin somewhere in Russia. And it's almost all just sounds and fighting, you know, gunshots and, and grunting sounds and, you know, no real words spoken until the very end. It is a cool, cool episode uh, issue and uh, in great shape. I love this issue. So I don't have this variant cover or this uh, 
Cover A. I don't have the cover A. Boom. World's finest Superman and Batman. Look at that. Who is that beast? Let no man write my epitaph. Metamorpho. This is issue 220 of Batman and Superman and World's Finest. That is old school classic DC goodness. Look at that. What? Nice Arctic fight scene. Oh, Aaron's read it. Awesome. It is, it is a great issue. I mean, Tom King has been doing a lot of really cool stuff. I love the Heroes in Crisis, and I've been enjoying this, this Batman run. Until lately, it's been a little bit confusing because there's like dream sequences and stuff. This issue was all about the art and telling a story with just the pictures because the, the dialogue was so limited. It was really a good, a good issue. All right, I got three books left here. Here we go. Sandman, number six. Woo! I don't have any Sandman issues. Master of Nightmares, issue six. I don't know if any of these are big keys. You got to let me know. I don't think this, no, this is not Swamp Thing. I don't think it's Swamp Thing. Maybe somebody think, it doesn't look like Swamp Thing to me. It looks Wait, a little different. Can I see that cover? Look at me. I, was I not once beautiful? Oh, I so did? maybe he's saying that that's what he used to look like or she used to look like. I don't know. Yeah, it is like, it is totally like a silent issue. Except for the little fairy tale that's playing out. Aaron is on it. Wait, Aaron's in the chat? I told you that. Already. You? Okay, go, go away. Like this is my time now. Um, it reminded me a lot of like the G.I. Joe silent issue where it was all just like the fight. And they had this little bits of the, uh, of the fairy tales scattered around it. All right, boom. Old Man Logan. I've been wanting to read this run because it just ended with issue 50. So this is issue 49. This is the A cover, it looks like, based on the barcode. Learning about barcodes. I have not read this, but I heard very good things. I heard it ended really, really well. Metamorpho kind of looked like Swamp Thing. I agree. I don't, and I don't know. I could be wrong about that. I, I'm not sure. Loved that story too. And Comic Geek McD read it. I know McD, you are all about the Batman stories lately. You've been catching up on Detective Comics too, I believe. Anybody know about the Sandman? I don't. I don't know Sandman issue six if it's an important one. Uh, but this is this would be my first issue of Sandman. Okay, last book. Boom. Spider Force. Oh, this is one of the Spider Geddon crossover storylines. I see. I see uh, Jessica Drew in there. It looks like. So Spider Force issue two. All right. Kate has the hardcover, so I can't recap that. I'll wait till the end. It's the final issue. Oh, 49 is the final issue. Or she's saying, let's see here. Do you use Key Collector Comics? I use the app, but I, I have not begun to pay for it yet. So I'm still using the free side of it. I looked it up, didn't know that. So either 49 is the free issue, a final issue, or Sandman. One of these she's saying is a final issue. Someone likes the spotlight. The Sandman is the final issue. Okay, cool. We have him, Dr. Spider. The Sandman is dead. Dun, dun, dun. How is this, Kate? Did you skim through it? Does it look pretty I, cool? I have a page bookmark. So. You already bookmarked the page? Pepper Hogan. Is that Pepper Potts? Yeah. She married Happy, Happy Hogan? Hogan? I didn't know that. There she is, Pepper. Huh, interesting. You need it, okay. Sorry, my ladies are all about it. Old Man ended at 50. That's what I thought, Mo. That's what I thought. And I don't have any of that 50 issue run, um, but I hear it ended really, really strong and kind of set up what I've been reading, which is the Dead Man Logan, the, the, the mini series that they just started recently. So I don't see, you found Sand, Sandman? Say Sandman, see? There he is. I don't know if that's the same Sandman, the one that we're talking about. This is a DC book. Might be him. I don't know. This guy. I don't know. Because you said Sandman, you didn't know. I did that really quickly, so probably nobody could see it. Wow. Yep. Too bad. All right. Them. I got to do one more unboxing here, ladies. Okay. Yeah. Awesome books. I wanted to nip in and say hello, show support. You rock, Comic Geek McD. Thank you so much. She did marry Happy Hogan, 
and it got retconned like one more day. <laughs> Yeah, that's true. Thanks, Tim Meyer. Yeah, I, that means they changed the history later on. They didn't like it anymore. Your girls are going to open their own comic empires one day. Brett Hess, I would not yes, be surprised. That is my future. Charlie's in. Charlie's in. All right. So I don't know that Alec could jump in. It looks like he might be busy. He might be working. Um, so I, I, I'll for those that were tuning in for the mail call, I'll run through what I got from Comic Tom. Uh, Captain America and the Falcon issue 162 and again I do love this era of uh, Captain America it's a really good set of books uh, spider Gwen spider force issue 2 which is some of the tie-ins to the spider geddon which I have not read I read the main spider geddon and I wasn't in love with kind of what was going on but uh, I heard there were good tie-ins to it Sandman issue number six which uh, Aaron was telling me is the final issue of this original Sandman run. Old Man Logan 49, which is I think is the one right before the big fight between, I think it's Maestro, the Maestro, Maestro, and, uh, and Old Man Logan, the big fight that sort of sets up the beginning episode, uh, 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 issue of Dead Man Logan. Batman issue 57, which I think is just a, a phenomenally underrated issue in this Tom King run because it's just a fight front to back a phenomenal issue with great art and a story told all through the, the fighting and lastly world's finest issue 220 Superman and Batman so that is my mail and then of course the giant hardcover that my girls were tearing through and all of that for I was grandfathered in so I think it was $25 including shipping that's just crazy. I definitely got more than my money on that. So thank you, Aaron and Tom and Ryan. It has been a great six months and I've gotten so many cool books, so many great trades. Almost all of them were like hard covers. So thank you all for that, for the hard work you're doing and, and just for the good comic karma that you're putting out there. So this came today from my good friend, Alec at White Whale Comics. So I am opening this now. I've been saying for a while, I owe Alec an AOK. -okay. Not because he's not getting any AOKs or anything like that, but because we've been friends for a good while now, and I've been trying to find something that I think he would appreciate. So I sent something to Jeffrey recently, and I sent something to Rod recently, just Little by little, I'm trying to get to all these new friends I've made. But those other guys, I knew exactly what they wanted. And I had either a copy in my collection or I was able to get one without any real challenge. So the harder part for me is what could I get for Alec? So I'm still working it out. If you have a good idea, hit me up. Let me know. Um, if you have a book that I could buy off of you, happy to do that as well. Um, but I'm going to get him. He's gotten two things from my girls, really, really kind stuff from my girls. And now apparently I'm on his list too. So there's a lot of TJ Watsoning happening out in the, uh, in the ether these days. So I'm going to get him. I'm going to get him. And now I got his address. <laughs> easy peasy. All right. He used a Gemini mailer, which is super fun and easy to, to, to use. I use them for pretty much all the books I've ever given away or sold. Either I'm using a Comic Tom mailer or I'm using one of these guys. Super, super easy. All right. Boom. Okay. That is out of the way. It looks like one, two, three, maybe five books. Let's see if there's a side that I should open. He's got blue painter's tape. Gotta love it. I recently bought another couple of rolls just because I was starting to use up all my wife's blue painters tape, and I don't, you know, I don't want to run out. She, she's the she's the painter around the house, so whenever a room needs to get doing, she's the one that does all the good cutting in and stuff. She's a very talented lady. All right, boom. Still no Alec in the chat, so I'm gonna have to just go without you, brother. But thank you. It's not like I don't see you very often. Guaranteed date night with you and I once a week. All right, so I'm going to try to not look. I'm flipping books over. OK, 
Okay, that one's not in a bag, so those might not be big boy books or anything. They're not in a they're not in a uh, they're not in bag and board. So those might just be things he was using to, to, to keep it tight in there. They do deserve a bag and board because now I'm looking at him. He's a boss, man. So I mean he's brushing his beard. <laughs> We all need it, Aaron. We all need it. Although I'm due for a major overhaul. I got a haircut. Now I'm ready for a beard cut. Um, Alec is easily, in my opinion, and I'm sorry if this hurts anybody's feelings, the most talented guy I know on Instagram and YouTube. I mean, he just he just is. Uh, whether it's you know the incredible thumbnails and the the Photoshop work he does. Whether it's the editing and the art uh, artist breakdown video series he does, um, the the way he's clicked into music, art, books, film, the guy is incredibly knowledgeable, creative, and from a creative standpoint, he he's there's just nobody else. There's just nobody else. The only reason I have over 400 subscribers is because early on he asked me for some stupid reason to join him. Biggest mistake he's ever made. And I am basically riding this guy's coattails to 400 subscribers. He is amazing. If you haven't subscribed to him, of course, something wrong with you. Just honest. He's just an amazing guy. And not only all of that, he has a comic book that he made. And this is his comic book. And I was telling him, I want to get some. Let me buy some off of you. He sent me issues one, two, Three. All with his Whitewell Comics logo on the back. Self-published three first three issues. So I am guaranteeing you this is what I'm reading next. I'm skipping all the other stuff on my shelf. I'm reading this next. And I am super grateful and pumped that he gave these to me. Um, because I was totally ready to drop the dollars on it because it's his published work he spent the money to make this um so i do owe him now twelve dollars maybe a little bit more than that you know for friendship purposes he is as far as i know the writer and the artist he is all written and illustrated yeah so he does all of it it's called missing pieces this is issue one and Whitewell Comics is the logo on the back. I believe I even searched eBay to see if anybody was selling any, and I couldn't find any on there. So I'm fairly certain that the only way to get them is from the man himself. So that is pretty awesome that he sent me those. I don't know that the rest of this really matters because that's what I'm reading first, and that's honestly what I'm most pumped on. So TJ is in the house, and he totally agrees about Alec. Um, yeah, uh, we both agree. The only reason to watch my channel is because occasionally Alec is on it. That's what I fully believe. And mostly because I've got daughters who are awesome. I am, I am the fourth most interesting person on my own channel. <laughs> it, goes, it goes Kate, Charlie, Alec, and then me. And then sometimes Ryan and Jeffrey on my own channel might be outranking. So <laughs> yeah. Fine, you and Kate are tied for first, hmm. and then it's Alec, and then it's me. Yeah. <laughs> this is Alec's comic book, Charlie. That's his name. He made this comic book. He made, Alec? and there's three of them. Wait, he actually, he actually went to his... He wrote it, and he drew it, and he printed it. That looks like a little bit. It's warm here. Um, all right, you go. Enjoy your this books. Thing? Pieces. It's called Missing Pieces. Nice. Jeffrey's nice. laughing at me. What's up, John? How you doing? Marvel Joe, good to see you, brother. Break, did I shout out Bake the Snake and Vinny? I'm sorry if I didn't shout you guys out. I said something to Brett Hess. Awesome that you guys were coming by. Okay, so for those that weren't early, I unboxed my Comic Town mail call. You can watch the video later and I recap it. Uh, it was a great, it might have been the best mail call I got. Second only maybe to that Iron Fist number one I got. It was a really, it was an amazing mail call to finish on. Then now I'm unboxing something that came from my good, good friend, Alec at Whitewell Comics. 
he sent me the, the first three issues of his own self-published comic. And now I'm on the last, the, the three books that he sent along with it. One of them is, <laughs> he knows me, man. He knows I love Cho. This new Avengers run, absolutely awesome. Uh, great run of books. So, so good. Um, yeah. I mean, I think I'm only missing three issues from the whole like first run of the new Avengers that Bendis did. So I've got like an insane number of books, like 50 or 60 books and I'm missing three. And one of them is a key. It's the issue 27, the first Hawkeye is Ronan, but the rest of them aren't even keys. They're just random books that were, that were missing. All right. Next is, Ooh, spider Gwen 25. This might be the, is this the, this might be the, the like Gwenum, like the, the, the book where it's like she gets infected. This is the variant cover presented by Unknown Comic Books. Just, I'm trying to be gentle with it. I know some people are like, don't open your books. Yeah, this looks like she's got the, the Spider Gwenum powers at this point in the storyline. So this is obviously the, uh, homage cover for ASM 300. There are so many great, uh, I don't want to say ripoffs, homages to that cover. Yeah, it's a classic design. The simple circle, the number around, and then, you know, a, a spider figure in pose. Absolutely awesome. Dude, this is excellent. What a night. Last book. And this one is in a My Light. So I was kind of saving this one for last. It feels a little more cared for or worried about last one <laughs> so this that's my boy man that's my boy this is the first appearance of jubilee in the x-men uncanny x-men issue 244 uh and i think alex got like 800 of these, a thousand of these, something like that. He's in a two to th three to four digits somewhere. Um, and I, I jokingly, when he opened his like fifth on, on his channel, I was like, you know what? I've got most of the X-Men 200s, like pretty much all, but like 10 or 15. This is one of the only ones I was missing. I was teasing him. I was like, I've got all the keys. You know, I, I, I used to have 266, the first Gambit, um, but I've got pretty much all the keys in there except for that gambit now. Somebody awesome in the chat has that gambit. You can hit him up. He's he's got a little wrench next to his name. Um, but I have like pretty much that whole run, and some of them I've got like three or four of them. Um, but I just didn't have this one. Of course, it's his calling card. Says bake the steak. Yeah, it's an awesome book, and that he would part with it is uh, is just cool, man. That's awesome, dude. You rock, man. It's funny, like there's this, there's this thing going on. Who might that be, says Jeffrey. Um, there's this thing going on where everybody seems to be sharing. There's this fun kind of community sharing thing going on and it's awesome to be a part of it. It, was, it, it felt so good sending out those books to uh, Jeffrey and to Rod and all the other people I've, I've had a chance to send to up to now. Um, and I will uh, continue to do so but it's just, it's amazing because it is real that like people look out for each other and watch out for each other. And, you know, Tony Sanders, I still can't believe the guy, he sent me one of his all time favorite books just out of the kindness of his heart. You know, that, that is shocking. And then you talk about, <laughs> you talk about people like Big Will, Comic Books NYC, Thanatos. Thanatos made a joke in one of his recent videos, like he got an NYX. Uh, in an A-OK. -okay. We'll, we'll talk about that later. Sorry, I'm getting interrupted. But Matt was saying, you don't know what it's like to get an NOIX in the mail. And I'm like, I know exactly what that's like, dude. You did it to me. <laughs> I know exactly what that's like. And yeah, NYC is in the chat. And he sent me a shocking A-OK, -okay, an unbelievable A-OK. -okay. And I haven't even gotten to the Slab Dragon who's in this chat. I keep joking about being the slab lizard, even though I don't have that many slabs. 
because we're all just trying to be lizards in his his shadow because these people are just way way too nice um and uh to be in the same company is is legit awesome and uh, the best part of all of this um kate's got funny hair she's gonna share it squat down a little bit so you can see i made it really bad <laughs> it, looks really it bad. fits well with the 80s style this is jubilee's first appearance in the x-men first wow. first ever jubilee wow you remember Did her from the x-men right charlie said that um alec, alec made his own book yeah, yeah, this is his own comic book. It's called Missing Pieces by Alec Key. Can I look at it? I don't know. I don't know that it's kid appropriate. Okay. So I will read it and I'll decide. But he also sent us Spider Gwen as Gwenum and uh, Jessica Drew. Wait, Dad. Oh, I love Jessica Okay, wait. Can we? I'm going to finish this off. You, girls yes, are, you guys have been hijacking my time. that this we can't read it because it might not be kid appropriate. Well, we've seen Guns of Galaxy, Guns of Galaxy 2. I think we know the ones. Wow. Charlie. <laughs> uh, it's good to see everyone. Thanatos, it's good to see you too, man. Wingnuts, yeah. So I wanted this to be kind of short. I didn't want to jump on for too long. Huge thanks to Comic Tom, to Aaron, to Ryan, to Russ. Um, I love the content. I love the breakdown videos. Um, and I absolutely have enjoyed my mail call for these five months. It's been so, so awesome. And then of course, to my just awesome, good friend, Alec, you are too much the, again, he is legitimately the most talented person on YouTube. Like I, I there's no competition creatively, artistically. He is just on another level. Um, and I'm just so grateful that, that he hangs out with me from time to time, once a week. So thank you for hanging out with me tonight. Um, and I will later on, I'll add Alex link in my description here, but if you go to pretty much any of my videos, I'm linking Alex channel and you can find him very quickly. And I doubt you need to be help finding comic Tom's channel but I'll include that when I uh, retype this up a little bit later. So thank you to both of their, well, to Tom's team and to Alec as his own entity. Um, I hope uh, you guys all have a great night. I'll be on tomorrow morning for comics uh, with the girls and we'll unbox a gift that the girls got from another uh, YouTuber. And then I am on economics with comics at nine o'clock Pacific tomorrow night to help him uh, be a part of his, uh, I don't know if I'm going to call it an all-star night if I'm the prime time at nine o'clock, but certainly an exciting six or five hour crazy long live stream event he is doing tomorrow night. So very exciting. Um, I hope you guys all have a great night. Thank you so, so much. Um, and I'll see you soon.